What's up guys, Dan Blewett here, and today we're gonna cover three pitch efficiency, which if you haven't heard the term, it's all about can you get hitters either out, and that means out of the box, whether they are out, they get a hit, you hit them with a pitch, it doesn't matter, or get to one, two, three pitches into the at-bat. This is an important concept. We talked about it in college at my alma mater. They talk about it in pro ball. It's something that if you want to get deep into games as a starter, or if you want to be a pretty regularly contributing reliever, you have to be thrifty with your pitches. Because again, as a starter, you're going to face 20, 25, 30 at bats or 30 batters in a game. And as a reliever, you need to get through that inning pretty fast so you can be fresh to pitch again tomorrow or the next day or whatever it is. Obviously in amateur baseball, you don't pitch quite as often, but in pro ball, it's really important to not go out there and throw 28 pitches every inning that you pitch because then you're down the next day and then you get a lot of accumulated fatigue. So in today's video, we're gonna cover three pitch efficiency. I really hope you enjoy it. And if you do, definitely make sure you subscribe to the channel, share this video with a friend and stick around because I put out new videos each week. Okay, so three pitch efficiency is an important concept because it helps pitchers get deep into games. Even if you're not a starter, even if you're a relief pitcher, three pitch efficiency matters because you need to be able to pitch consistently throughout the week without throwing 25 or 30 pitches every time out, which means then you're gonna be down the next day and then you can't pitch uh, two days in a row. Obviously for high school and college pitchers, that's a little less of a concern because you don't typically have that many games in a row, but sometimes you do. So. Three pitch efficiency will get a starter into the sixth, seventh inning. It'll help them get deeper into games, eat, eat up more innings, and that keeps you in your starting role. And for relievers, it helps you be thrifty and come back quicker because a 12 pitch inning on Monday is gonna allow you to pitch on Tuesday if they need you. And it's gonna help reduce that accumulated fatigue that, re that relievers are always trying to fight. So three pitch efficiency is just the idea that after three pitches, you're either up one and two in the count or the bat's already over because we want to end every bat in four pitches or less, and really the fewer the better. So there's a couple key components with three pitch efficiency. Number one is what you do on one one. In one one, this is your chance to either get to one two or not. And being one two is vastly better than being two one. Two one's not a good count. That's where we're trying to avoid three one. We're starting to bring the ball over the plate more. So it starts to set us up for you know, a pretty tight spot where a hitter is gonna be more aggressive and they're going to be looking for a more center cut pitch. So on 1-1, one, one, we have to be aggressive with the way of the plate. It's not to say we always have to fast, throw a fastball because we don't, because 1-1 one, one is a very swing-happy count, but we do have to be more aggressive with the plate. So if you're throwing an off-speed pitch on 1-1, one, one, you're probably going to just want to have it break somewhere in the zone. It doesn't really matter that much because they should be looking for a fastball 1-1, one, one. and if they get a slider, a curveball, or changeup and they swing, chances are they're not going to be on perfect time, and you'll probably get a week out. So on 1-1, one, one, we're looking for to either flip an off-speed pitch in there for a called strike, or we're trying to throw a fastball either to the halves or the thirds of the plate. Because again, we really want to get to one two. So if we have a little more margin for error, if that means outer half instead of outer third, then that's okay. We want to give ourselves the best chance possible to get to one two. And so when we do get to one two, our goal needs to be, I want to end the at bat as soon as I possibly can. Because again, if you try to punch out every guy when he gets two strikes, your pitch count is inevitably going to get to five, six, seven pitches per at bat, and you're only going to go four innings as a starter, and you're going to hurt and deplete your bullpen. So on one, two, our goal should be, I'm going to throw a pitch that I'm going to get weak contact on, knowing that if you throw a pitch right here, which is pretty much what I advocate for, so if you're throwing a curveball and, and it's breaking to your glove side, which is obviously what curveballs do, it's gonna be a borderline ball strike on height. So hopefully at the bottom border of the strike zone and hopefully kind of around the corner of the plate as well. So it's at that like bottom little quadrant of the plate. So right there, there's a bunch of possible outcomes. They could take this for a ball or potentially they're called out on strikes. So if they take it, some of the time they're called out, some of the time it's ball two, they can swing at it and a percentage of the time they'll strike out, another percentage of the time they'll hit the ball and get a single, another percentage of the time they'll hit the ball and hit a weak ground ball or a weak flare and probably be out. So most of the time you're gonna get weak contact from here, because this is a really tough pitch to swing at, uh, especially if it's a, a righty and the ball's breaking away, if it's a lefty and it's tailing away from them, still very, very tough pitch to hit. So most of the time you're gonna get good outcomes, which is either they take it and are called out, they swing and they miss, 
or they put it in play weekly and you get your easy ground out. So most of the time, because this is just such a tough pitch and tough location, you're gonna get what you want and the at bat. It's not a pitch they can reliably take because it's so close, right? So on one, two, that's kind of your goal. It's still to throw a strike, but it's to get something that's gonna get weak contact. That's a borderline ball strike location. So if it's a fastball, it's probably on the outer third to the outer corner. If it's a breaking ball, it's probably breaking to the bottom board of the strike zone, outer third, outer corner, something like that. And that's really, really important because if you're always you're bouncing your curveball or you're throwing your slider breaking out of the dirt or you're bouncing your change up or you're elevating fastballs on one, two, you're inevitably gonna get to two, two a lot of the time. And now you've got to throw another pitch. And now do you want to get to three, two? You might be, have to come over with a fastball. And now it just gets, it leads you into more bad decisions where you want to end the at bat because you can feel your pitch count getting really high. So it's better to take your chances early and have a mindset that I want weak contact, knowing that you'll still get your strikeouts and you'll get to pitch deeper in the game. So hopefully that helps. Three pitch efficiency is, an, is a good concept to understand as a pitcher, because again, we all want to help our team. We want to keep our bullpen fresh and we want to go deep into games, especially if you're a starter. And if you're a reliever, you want to be available as many days as a, in a week as you can, and you want to be fresh for the next outing because you know, never know what that's going to hold, right? If you throw 12 pitches today, your team might need two innings out of you the next time. And if you threw 12 pitches today, you can probably give that to them. But if you threw 28 pitches today, you're probably not going to be able to go and give them what they need to help to win a ball game, all right? So make sure you think about your pitch calling as it pertains to pitch efficiency and specifically three pitch efficiency.